What do Vince Lombardi and Bart Starr, Bill Walsh and Joe Montana, and Don Shula and Bob Greasy all have in common? Football. Does anybody know? Human. Aside from the fact that it's football, which is great that you know that, this is what they have in common. Don Shula, Bill Walsh, and Vince Lombardi are all coaches. The other three, Bart Starr, Joe Montana, and Bill, Bob Weesey, they're all quarterbacks. Here is another thing they have in common. Bart Starr and Vince Lombardi are a team. Bill Walsh and Joe Montana are a team. Don Shula and Bob Greasy were a team. Now, let's take a look at the word team. Team, if you flip over the handout I gave you, stands for together, everyone achieves more. This is something that I, I did not make that up. I actually learned that acronym from a friend of mine who's done many leadership seminars. And I loved that. Together, everyone achieves more. If you look at what it says there, team is defined in the dictionary as a group working together with a joint action. Notice that there was no I in the word team. It's I, I, I. No, it's team. T-E-A-M. Together, everyone achieves more. Well, how does that do with leadership? What does it have to do with leadership? Well, let me tell you something. It was the early 1980s. Here was this unknown quarterback coming in to play in the Super Bowl. He was Joe Montana. The coach was Bill Walsh. Joe Montana was virtually unknown, brand new to the San Francisco 49ers. Dan Marino was the well-known quarterback of the Miami Dolphins. And here he was going into the Super Bowl. Now, if at the time, if you were a big fan of the Dolphins and you knew that Marino liked to throw long passes to his receivers and running backs, then you would bet, you would bet on him. But, unbeknownst to us, nobody knew who Joe Montana was, really. He was just this unknown. Now, everyone knows him as one of the greatest <laughs> quarterbacks in the history of NFL. He has four Super Bowl rings to prove it with the San Francisco 49ers. What a great feat. But at this first Super Bowl, here he was. And it came down to the wire in the last few minutes of the game when he threw the ball. The guy caught it in for a touchdown. End of, ended, it ended the game. Marino had lost, so did the Dolphins. The Super Bowl went to Joe Montana, Bill Walsh, and the rest of the San Francisco 49ers. Now, why is that possible? How was it that Joe Montana was able to get four Super Bowl rings? How was it that Joe, or Bill Walsh, has two Super Bowl rings as a coach? Because, let me explain. In football, the coach, he's the main leader. He leads the team overall. He provides the motivation for the team before the game, during the halftime, when they have to go back in, whether they're winning or losing. He provides that motivation. He brings the team together. He also strategizes with the team. That's right. He makes all the plays. He's got the playbooks. Now, sure, there are other coaches. There's the offensive coach and the defensive coach. There's coach assistants, but the coach is the one, the main coach, is the one that overall oversees all the other coaches and the leadership. Now, when Joe Montana hits the field, he is now the leader of the whole team, but he's the leader on the field. So what he does is he implements all of the plays and strategies that was discussed with the coach. He comes together, and then when they get together and they all huddle, <laughs> He's the one that then relays everything to the rest of the team and says, here's the play we're going to run. And he tells them to play. Next thing you know, they all get in formation. They get in their position. He gets back. He throws the ball. Joey Rice runs <laughs> into the end zone. Touchdown! 49ers score. 
great. Well, that happens with every quarterback and every coach. But see, the coach, although he's the main leader, the quarterback is the leader, the main leader on the field. They work together as a team. It's not individual effort. Now, Peyton Manning and Tom Brady are more of the most famous quarterbacks today that a lot of people know. Now, here's the deal. Yes, Peyton Manning has beaten Tom Brady in the Super Bowl. But it's not all. It's not all Peyton Manning. He's just one leader. But because he rallies the team when they come together in the huddle and he uses the strategies that was put up by the coach, Coach Tony Dungy at the time, for the Indianapolis Colts, they work together in unison to achieve the greater success. That's what they do. That's how you have a good team. And that's why you have a leader that behind each leader is a great team. Now, how does that apply to us in Toastmasters? Well, you have the president of the club. She's the coach. She, in the end, calls all the shots. The VPE is, to me, I see that as the quarterback because she has to schedule the meeting. She or he has to schedule the meeting, put everything together, all the strategies, like running the plays. And she has to get out in the field, which basically means emailing all of us to let us know what is coming up for the next meeting. All that together. Now, we don't huddle as Toastmasters. We have executive council meetings and come together with our minds to achieve greater success, which is our Distinguished Club program. Think of that like our Super Bowl, being a DCP club. My home club has done it six years running. I know Renaissance Speaker has done it many times. So remember, come together. Look at the word team. Together, everyone achieves more. There's no I in the word team. And behind every leader is a great team. Madam Toastmaster.